time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle, just... That was good luck, finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I... I'm, I'm such an idiot, I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna unlock if I get it wrong again. Wait. You can't remember your own code? I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seemed fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> Abraxas shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. Can you just... I don't know. I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. I know what they're doing. My grief isn't affecting my... Those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere. I think we all feel a bit busted sometimes. She just can't catch a break, huh? Not even at a time like this. Fucking shit. Oh. Oh. Max. <laughs> It's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? What do you mean, it's just me? Well, <laughs> there are a few people, for instance, who I might hesitate getting workday slosh in front of. You, Miss Caulfield, are not one of them. Thanks. I'm flattered. Join me? How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Safi? <sighs> Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh... <laughs> Illicit day drinking with your co-workers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. <laughs> Far be it for me to pass up an opportunity to accrue more sexy points. <laughs> uh, measuring sexiness with imaginary points. Not sexy. Mm, minus five sexy points to me, then. <laughs> Shouldn't we be hanging out on the train tracks? That's where all the kids drank in high school. <laughs> You're from the Pacific Northwest, aren't you? What's that like? A little damp. Occasionally torrential. What did you do when you weren't drinking on the train tracks? Took pictures, mostly. 
And? I swear, I'm not that interested. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. <laughs> I like you, Max Caulfield. You feel haunted. What? <laughs> Don't worry, it's good. Uh, haunted people are interesting. Maybe on TV. In real life, haunted people have to live inside their haunted brains. Yeah, they do. I actually really needed that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sharing is caring. <laughs> hey, uh, Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Finn does owe me a favor. So, remember that favor you owe me? Yes. Um, it can be anything, right? Anything but foot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. I need your phone passcode. What? <laughs> uh, you know I can change it once you leave the room, right? I'm not giving you my phone. That's fine. I don't need the phone. Just the code. What's this? Like a, like a power thing? Forcing sweet virgin boys to give you their passcodes? Fine. Suit yourself. It's one, nine... Five, two. Thanks. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. This must belong to someone flashy, and forgetful, and cold. I hope this is the right code. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics, food pics, mirror selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless mirror selfie. Sophie. 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 There's a lot of Safi in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow, that is really close. Who even were you, Safi? I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. 
Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Sofi sleeping together? Gwen killing Sofi's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. All right. An authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Nothing to worry about. Let's give him some space. Can you run and get him some water? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? The fucking Overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. It's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? Uh, well, A plus for following directions, then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around, working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this... Other you want. I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? Hey, I think I left some equipment on the Overlook. Can I? Sorry, miss. This area is secured. Active crime scene. You'll have to wait. There's no way around that cop without getting spotted. Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. This looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy. 
but this hers is called Sour Cats. In horror movies, Not heart stars. I should check for more weird shit. Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right oh, now? Oh, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? From here, I should be able to make it up to the Overlook. Better look around to see what other freaky shit is going on. This is my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Is, is this from some other timeline? Jesus, fuck! You've got to be kidding. Hey, Gwen. Thanks. <coughs> Careful there, Pineapple Express. Shit. Did Pot get stronger since I was in school? Before I came out, I had this boss, a free thinker, who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. The brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. Of course, I was afraid if I said something said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up, make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted? Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is, I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me. Dealing to students. Someone who looks like you. This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? 
Ow! That wasn't me, it was my evil twin. No. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their mind. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelgangeritis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! To Caledon, to Yasmin, and to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. What the fuck? Gwen, listen, if I can just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something. Is it true they canceled Safi's book deal? Oh, Jesus, Max. Have you ever tried not being so goddamn nosy? Wouldn't you want to know why? In my experience, some mysteries are better left that way. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. Or thinks he saw. What would you think of all this, Hannah? Would you still be inspired? Did something used to be here? I can't remember. Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? Loretta, isn't there somewhere else you could be right now? I'm sure there is, but nowhere as exciting as this place, huh? How did you even get past the officer? How did you... Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? That's not really mine to share. I, I'm not trying to... I just want to make sure he's okay. Honest. He will be. I think. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that... I don't know. Made it feel... real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the B-cops let it slip. 
You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up, I got a lead. I could cut you in. If you know something, cut away. I was hoping you'd say that. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then, Maya died a couple years back. Suicide, apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe, yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern, maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go. got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera. I know. Moses, why did you- It wasn't like a rational decision. I wasn't thinking. I just- When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought, the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses! I screwed up, Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... So unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. 
Miss Caulfield. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Mr... That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. So, is there some kind of problem here, Detective? Max, it's okay. Not a problem. Slight hiccup. Mr. Murphy, apparently, gets his key card quite often. That's true. He does. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Okay, now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Wow, these are heavy duty. I can't see anything through them. Is all this going to change now that Alderman's on the case? Caledon campus in winter. I used to think this was beautiful. Now it just makes me think of Safi. These open into Moses' office, I think. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey, Max. Man, that's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? Uh, probably that mug. My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh. That's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. Kinda left field, but if you were gonna hide something personal in this lab, where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. You never told me you keep a dream diary. And I never will. Pure conjecture on your part. Okay. Name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like something I keep blocked away? Yes. Yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. The maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. <laughs> rule bender, Max. Rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses? You need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? Uh, no. I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to- I can't get over how busy everyone is in this timeline. Did I forget what normal life is like?
The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. These are cute. Moses' sister must have visited. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. Harold's dishes. I've heard so many jokes about this mysterious office mate that I don't know what's true anymore. The wonders of modern technology have rendered us a turtle with a gun. Worth it. Knowing at least one Moses gets a happy Christmas. That's still I can't tell if that makes me feel better or worse. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the astrophysics. Yeah, this is why I'm not a physicist. There's no way Yasmin would be okay with how Alderman is treating him. Moses is her prodigy. Oh my god, Stop. this is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. Where do you keep your kettle? Hang on, Max. I gotta adjust my grip. I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. God, I bet every sad poem she ever wrote is... So this is how you set up the infamous depressed chess. I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Safi's alive here. Love this cozy little donut corner. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. <sighs> what? Bitch, you did not just- Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no. Were you two up all night? Yeah. And I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of... all of this. Better give this wrench to Moses. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh. You are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. 
Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. I didn't know you had an artistic side. Long dormant. Comes with being the only scientist in a family of artsy-fartsy types. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. Oh, why is it so happy? All of Moses' friends are nerds, huh? No wonder he gets along with me so well. This must be for working on the mural. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Moses and Safi, so different and yet for astronomers who hate the outdoors. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. Damn. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hid Sophie's camera? Come on! How long does it take to bring a damn key? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? I don't remember ever seeing an actual safe in the- Will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the... 
You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars oh everywhere. Stop! Well, it's a star. Maybe the other Moses hid the camera around here. Come on, Moses. Where did you hide it? There's so many stars in here. I just need to keep looking. Right, because that would have been too easy. At least Moses hid the camera well, wherever it is. Is that you? I don't hear something. Still haven't found the right star. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. I think I got it. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. And they're safe on the lower left. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. I 
I've got to get out of here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. The mezzanine would be the perfect place to set this off. I just gotta make it. I need to get up to the mezzanine. I need to get up to the mezzanine. What the hell? Shit. Did I just... Okay. Let's try this again. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Hey! Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. That's... That's new. Yes!
Holy shit. The telescope and all the parts switched places. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo... What? Moses. Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you, if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. No. <laughs> okay, Miss Caulfield. I hope you don't actually have information. Because, you know, withholding it could get you into trouble. Thank you for your concern, Detective. I'll keep that in mind. That's everything. I believe I'm free to go, right? Yes. You are. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Oh, shit. Moses, wait. How? Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere.
Ugh, she's got a sixth sense for... Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. This was meant to be a loud message. But from who? And what does it mean? Still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Sophie. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. While I do want to see this so-called incriminating footage of Gwen, it's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't understand how yet. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing all right. I should go see if he's gotten... Hello? This is your new power, Max Caulfield. Saving lost cats in other dimensions? Time to greet our furry friend. I hope the cat's okay. Oh, wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird. Who's out there? Oh, look at you. That's a I should have guessed, Siamese. You being so chatty and all. <laughs> Where did you come from? Are you a refugee? A fugitive? Mm, no collar, huh? So... What do I call you? How about Iris? A little bit of elegance. Oh, right. Affection. What was I thinking? Well, if you're staying, I should probably consider a couple of cat quality of life changes. We took in a little liquid courage before the bowling alley shoot. Sophie's insistence, well, mostly Sophie's. It's been a minute since I exhibited in a gallery gallery, but Dr. Preston was excited about working together on something next year.
This should do the trick. Here, kitty kitty. Chow time. See? We can be friends. Oh, okay. You go ahead and eat whenever you're hungry. No cat can resist fucking up a perfectly good roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Okay, all cat proofed. Moses is waiting for me in the other, uh, world. My dark room here is empty. Moses, you okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous about seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us, to everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? No. I, I will be. I think. I'm here if you need to vent. I lose one of my closest friends. And when I should be processing my grief, I'm being interrogated by this... Appreciate you standing up to him. My pleasure. You didn't need to deal with any of that. Not then, not ever. <sighs> How about we see if Safi's selfie skills are better than mine? <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. What is this? Max, you... You killed her? What? No! Of course not! So that... that... It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. So this is why you went and got the camera? No, Moses. Please. This is me you're talking about. Me. There's a lot I don't know about you. But you know I wouldn't do something like that. I could never.
You stay the fuck away from me. 